I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your kettlebell combo workout. So in this workout, we're gonna be using compound movements, combining upper body and lower body and core to work a lot of muscles at once and really get that heart pumping for cardio. All you need for this workout is a kettlebell and a mat. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna start just without the kettlebell. Just set it down to the side. Just start marching, roll through those shoulders to the front. We're just gonna get our muscles warm. Quick little warm up, big deep breath in. As always, if you need more of a warm up or a cool down, get it on your own. One more right here. And then arms out wide, let's roll through our backs. So down, and bring it up. So mostly we just wanna open up the joints, get the muscles warm. Get everything ready to go. One more. And then tap it out, reach across, stretch, dynamic warm up. And take it over your head. And then just little torso rotations, just moving side to side, rotating those hips in that torso. Little hamstring curls in the back. And then very gently, let's just pull the knees to the chest. Just through the hips, which are naturally pretty tight. Okay, so go ahead and grab your kettlebell. Bend your knees to do it. So I'm gonna be working with an 18 pound kettlebell. Don't worry, maybe you have a lighter one, maybe you have a heavier one. I'm gonna give you some options if that's the case. But, just so you know, mine is 18 pounds. All right, so we're gonna start, we're gonna start with alternating back lunges. So you're just alternating, we're gonna hand the kettlebell off underneath the leg, step it forward, switch your legs. So what this is gonna do, you're gonna feel it pretty quickly, regular lunge for legs, but alternating that kettlebell from hand to hand, you're gonna feel your abs engaged because you're gonna feel a little off balance. That's what we want. So make sure you've got good lunge form, dropping the back knee, Push off the front heel, abs are engaged, and breathe. Let's go a couple more, and three, two. This is also just a little bit of a warm up, good, relax. And then let's take our toes out, little figure eight, so kind of like a plie squat, hand it off. So again, we're little pulse plie for legs, but as you can tell, starting to get the heart rate up, right? And handing the kettlebell off, so we're engaging those abs, engaging the arms. And we'll go four, three, two, and one. Good, so we're already got that heart pumping. Let's have the kettlebell in that left hand, and we're gonna step to our right. So we're going down side lunge, straight leg, bent leg, push off of that. So we'll start with this, and then we'll build up. Here we go. Side lunge, hips go to the back. Looks like this from the side. Push out of that heel. Kettlebell comes right by the foot. Chest stays up. What we don't want to do is round over. Get into the back chest up. Let get low. One more like this. And let's add on. We're going to add a row at the bottom. So step, row, push up out of it. So you're hanging out in that lunge. Pull it up and push up. Here we go, down, row, and push. Excellent, guys. So again, don't let that kettlebell pull you forward. Stay steady in that leg, steady in the abs. So your back is flat. Breathe. Yeah, you should feel them both. And let's go four more right here. Here we go. Four, pull. Push, three, two more, you got this, two, elbow right by your side, squeezing the shoulder blade, last one, hold it here, down here, pulse in that heel to the side, you can do it, outer thigh and glute, four, three, two, hold it here, pulse in that shoulder blade, squeeze, Woo. four, three, two, tap it out. Ah, right, breathe. Let's keep it in that same hand. We're gonna take it to that windmill, which we know. So toes out, kettlebell on the inside, reach up. We're gonna start with the kettlebell low. 
down for abs, push up out of that back leg, that opposite leg. It's a little soft in that leg with the kettlebell. Try not to lock it out, a little soft bend, but not much, you're not bending in the knees. Hand is up, reach it up high. Starting with the kettlebell low on the next set, I'm gonna give you the option to do that full windmill, kettlebell high, and breathe. Let's go two more. And last one. And relax, good. Tap it out. Should feel that heart pumping, I know I am. Let's switch the kettlebell over to that other hand. And we're stepping out to that left side, side lunge, here we go. Drop it down, push up out of it. So starting with just the lunge to really get your form. This opposite leg is straight, hips go back. Bend in that left leg, get low. There we go. Breathe and push. Kettlebell goes low by the foot without rounding that back. Two more, just your lunge. Last one. And breathe. Let's add the row. Here we go. Down. Pull up in the row. Push out of the lunge. Good. Down. Pull up. And out. Excellent. And breathe. Whew. Eyes up, straight ahead. Good, guys. Low in the leg. Pull. And up. Breathe. Excellent. So close. Awesome. Keep breathing. Shoulder blade. Four more, just like this. Four. Row. And breathe. Three. Last two. Two. One more. And let's hold it here, guys. Into that leg pulse. You can do it. Ah! Here we go. Four, three, two. Shoulder blade. Pulse. Pulse. Four, three, two. Relax. Tap it out. Ha ah. ha. Lots of muscles working. That's why they're called compound movements. Catch your breath, same arm, kettlebell low for that windmill. Here we go, reach it up. Take it down on the inside of the leg and breathe. Good, reach that hand straight up. Little bend in the hips, but trying not to move too much through the torso. Down, breathe, and up. Doing great, guys. Stretching through that side, but working those obliques. Last two. One more. And relax. Drop that kettlebell down right in front. Let's give your hands a little break from it. Let's get a little cardio interval, even though it's all cardio. Speed skater. So tap behind, touch your bell. Touch your bell. Trying to get low. If you need to keep it low impact, totally fine with me, guys. I just want you moving. If you can, make it a little more of a jump. Get low. We're keeping these quick. Just giving our hands a break from holding that kettlebell. Keeping our body working for four, three, two, one. Good, tap it out. Nice job, guys. Quick sip of water if you need it. Keep those feet moving. And let's grab that bell again. I'm gonna show you first without the kettlebell. We're gonna do a gunslinger curl. So kind of just like it sounds, like you're pulling out your gun with the end of the bell up. So if you have a lighter bell, you might be able to hold it like that. If you have a heavier one like me, that's gonna be hard to stabilize. So we're gonna grab it at the top, turn into a lunge. So don't worry, it's gonna get easier as you try it. Bend your knees, let's pick it up in that right hand. Little bit of momentum, but really stable on the abs. Here we go, watch me. Sling it up, catch, and lunge. And back. Sling and catch, and lunge. So you're just putting a hand on the bottom of the bell. Sling and catch, and lunge. Don't worry if you need to go a little slower than me, or a little faster. As you can tell, it's a little bit like the swing, where we get a little bit of a rhythm. And 
breathe. Good, guys. One more just like this. We're gonna add something to it if you want. If you want, we're gonna twist a little more towards the back over that knee so we get more abs. So arms and legs, abs. There we go. Twist and twist. Turn into the curl, grab it, twist over for the abs. Four more right here, you got it. Four and back, strong arms. Three and back. Last two, lunge and twist. One more like this. Hold it here, guys. So you're holding it here. Twist and lunge, pulse. Twist to the back. Breathe. So arms are working, abs are working, legs are working. You can do it, guys. For four, three, two, and one. Good, tap it out. All right, I know that hand is tired, arm is tired. We're gonna make it work a little harder. So let's bring it up, rack it up, put it straight up. We're going to that windmill. If you have a heavy one and it feels too much, guys, you can take it down to that windmill like we did before. But if you can, rack and press and windmill, lower hand going down without the kettlebell, kettlebell up top, down, and press it up straight to the ceiling. Keeping that arm, shoulder engaged, as straight as you can, and breathe. Hips go back. We're only going forward, we're keeping it short. Four, and push, feel that? Three, feels like too much, take it on the low side, just like we did before. Two, one more, breathe, and relax. Good guys, I know that's a lot to stabilize, but it works a lot of things at once, that's why we love it. Swish that kettlebell to the other hand. Gunslinger curl, just catch and lunge first, then we'll add that twist halfway through. Here we go. So power from the abs and the legs and that bicep. Here we go. Catch, lunge, and back. Curl and catch, lunge, and back. Just grab it with the palm of that hand. Up, twist, and back. Looking good, guys. I know this might be new to a lot of you guys. It's a way that we can lift a lot heavier on those arms, right? I would have a hard time curling 18 pounds with one hand, but because I've got this little catch move and gunslinger move, I can do it. If you want, add more of that twist for the abs. Catch, twist, and bring it back. Curl and catch, twist and lunge, and back. Breathe. Looking good, guys, you can do this. Low in that lunge, don't cheat that lunge, because we're working hard with arms and abs. Three more like this. Three. Last two. Two. One more, you can do this. Hold it here, guys. Twist and pulse, twist, lunge. Arms and abs and legs. Whoo, keep that bicep working. Breathe, so close. Four, three, two, one. Relax, tap it out. Good work, guys. All right, so bring it up. That wasn't the most graceful way, but you know what I mean. Top position if you can, feels like too much. Bring it down to that lower position. Windmill, here we go. Drop it down. As you can tell, usually there's one side for me, it's my left. It's a little tougher. So nice and steady, spot that bell the whole time. Use your abs, use your back. It starts to feel like too much, drop it low. Here we go. For four, it's crazy the difference in those two sides. Three, whew, two, one more. And one. Good guys, drop that bell, tap it out. Whew. Shake those arms out. I know they're tired. We got a couple more things before we go down to the mat. We're gonna make them quick. Okay, so grab your kettlebell. We're gonna start just with a goblet squat. So let's bring it up, hold it by the horns here. Now have to turn it up. So goblet squat, get as low as you can. Drop those hips up, 
rotational press. Take it down, up, twist and press. Here, twist and press. Keep it there if you want, guys, or if you want, watch me. Down, down, you're tossing and catch. Let it drop. Little pulse, pulse, push it up. Let it drop. Pulse, toss and catch really low. Push it up, you got it. Down, down, or just keep that regular rotational press. Starting to feel heavy? Keep it a little closer to your body. And breathe, or toss and catch. Down, down, power, push. Three more, down, down, two more. Last one. Good, relax. Breathe, guys. Ha. Ah, I know, I'm tired too. I feel it. Let's do some swings. Wouldn't be a kettlebell workout without some swings. Drop it down in front, guys. If you don't know how to do a kettlebell swing, please reference my video, how to do a kettlebell swing, before you try this. It's a learning curve. But you can do it, but start slow. So I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see me. Kettlebell right between your feet. Starting with that dead left motion. Shoulders back. Remember, it's a hinge at the hips. Flat back. Here we go, guys. Let's prep it. Three, two, power it up with the hips. Squeeze. Drop it down. Doesn't really matter how high you get that swing. We're keeping it the Russian kettlebell swing, not over the head. Power up with the hips. If you get higher than chest level, that's okay. Just make sure you have good form. If you're staying lower, that's okay too. Squeeze. Four, three, two, hips back. And relax. Good guys, drop that down, tap it out. Be very aware. Our muscle memory wants to do a squat and a raise. That's not the motion. You know that. We've done this for a while, but if you're new, Watch your muscle memory wanting to do that. So guys, if you feel good with that, keep your two-handed swing. If you want, we're gonna hand it off. Without the bell, watch me. Thumb goes back, pinky this way, power it up, hand it off. My thumb is always coming through, handing it off this way. Are we ready? Bend those knees, prep it first, hike it like a football, deadlift. Here we go. Three, two, one. Power up, hand off. Handing off at the top. Feels like too much? Keep your two-handed swing. Totally fine. I wanna hear that breathing, guys. That's gonna help you with the rhythm. Hand it off if you want. Up. If you don't feel like you have good control, keep that two-handed. Here we go. Eight. Power. Seven. Six. Five, hips, four, three, two, and one. Relax it down. Remember to let it swing before you stop it. Tap it out, guys. Breathe. We do that one more time. I know normally we get something in between, but not this time. Here's getting a quick little 10, 15 second break. All right, guys, again, your choice. Two-handed or one-hand handoff. Up to you. I'm gonna turn this way this time so you can see. Remember that hinge at the hip. Pop them up, squeeze, lock out in those legs, glutes, abs, back. Here we go, guys. Last thing before we take it down. Deadlift, prep it. Three, two, hinge at the hips, power up. Use that hip hinge to swing that bell forward. My arms are being really lazy. They're getting the work. But I'm not lifting them. If you want, hand it off. Thumb to the back. There we go, guys. Breathe. Push hard. We're almost there. One handed or two. Eight. Power. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Relax it down. Good work, team. Breathe. Tap it out. Quick sip of water. Let's go to the mat. Okay, guys, we're down on the mat with our kettlebell. 
So we're gonna start with our Russian twist. So I'm gonna grab that kettlebell center, chest is lifted, nice straight back, touch down to the side, and touch. If you have a heavier kettlebell and that feels like too much, you just drop the weight and just do the motion. If you have a little lighter, you wanna challenge, take those feet up, twist, twist. Good guys, let's add on, let's make it a little bicep curl. Take it down, curl it into the chest, down, up. Again, feet can be up, feet can be down. You can be up a little, or if you wanna lean back, up to you. Woo, pretty tough, pretty quick, right? Four, three, two, and one. Good guys, breathe. Knees out, stretch that out. Let's take it all the way down to the back. We're gonna make this mat portion quick. We already worked really hard. All right, so. We're taking it here, feet straight up. We're gonna do a little press to the feet with a crunch. Bring it down. Press with a crunch. Press. You start to feel like you're pulling your neck. You can just do the press or just do the crunch. Up to you. Then if you want, guys, let's go to the opposite side of the knee. So it's gonna throw your balance a little bit, right? Feel that? And breathe. We'll go four, whoo, three, two, and one. Drop it down, right? Whoo. All right, let's bring it up to the top. So you're holding it here, guys. Feet are up. I'm going to lower down for my triceps. So start with just this. Bending at the elbows towards the forehead. I'm not moving through the shoulders in that pullover. I'm bending straight up. Let's add on scissors for abs, down and up. Feels like too much? Just do one or the other, or you can always alternate between the two. And breathe. Arms and abs. You got it, guys. For four, three, two. Hold that kettlebell up. Scissors, let's take them low, little flutter kick. You can do it, kettlebell is staying up. Breathe, low as you can go, tighten up those legs. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, relax. Drop that kettlebell to the side, guys. Reach it up, whoo, excellent. All right, let's grab it for one more. We're gonna keep a little bend in the elbows, knees are up, take it over. Crunch it up towards the knees. Over, take those feet out a little. Ooh, there goes my water bottle. Bring it up. Over and up. Over and up. Feels like too much, keep it really tight and just take a small crunch. You're still gonna feel the weight. Still too much? Drop the kettlebell. Just do the crunch. If you can, guys, here. Pull it in tight. Breathe. Two more. One more, and relax. Ah, last thing here, guys. So rest that kettlebell either right on your sides or right on your chest or stomach, if that feels okay. We're gonna do a little hip lift. So just lift and lower, up and down. You can also rest it up top if you'd rather have it there. We're just doing a bridge with a little added weight. So either off the body or on. Squeeze, lift those hips. Four more. For four, take them up if you want. Three, two, and one. Good. Kettlebell down by the side. Feet up, a little stretch. And let's get one last thing for abs. Here we go. Twist and twist. Bicycle, touch on the inside of the knee. Last little push for abs. We're stretching it out, guys. You work so hard. Breathe. For four, three, two. Let's keep the motion. Touch on the outside of the knee. Really reach to the outside. That's gonna engage those external obliques. You can do it. I know the abs are tired because we just worked them for five minutes straight. For four, three, two, 
and one good hug those knees in worked hard guys reach that leg up flex that foot grab either the thigh or the calf flex the foot and pull it in for a little stretch you can rest your head if you want to good work team cross that over so that was a short workout but we were working a lot of things at once so your heart rate was up high. Press that knee down, pull in with the lower leg for the hip stretch. Heart rate was high, muscles were burning. You did it. And then let's extend that other leg up. Flex either the calf or the thigh. It doesn't matter, just pull it in. And drop it over here, reach underneath. Ooh. Excellent work team. Let's go ahead and turn over on your stomach. Stretch up on those elbows. And that cobra, a modified cobra. If it doesn't bother your back or your wrist, come all the way up. Relax the shoulders, look side to side. Foot in, grab if you can, tilt your hip into the mat. Other side. And up and back into child's pose, hips back. Reach those hands forward. And then bring it up to a seated position, guys. Whew. Let's twist to the side. So one hand over the opposite knee, look over that shoulder. Everybody.